Boy, that's the sound no one wants to hear from their car caused by a missing catalytic converter. And as you might know, converter thefts are a lot more common these days. It turns out fighting the crime might have less to do with police and more to do with mechanics. Yep, Fox News' Kendra Kent is here in studio now with a special report on this issue. Kendra, boy, so many people are suffering after these thefts. Yeah, absolutely, Shauna. And as you can imagine, muffler and auto shops are slammed with business as are shops that sell those anti-theft devices. But in all reality, it's not always easy to protect catalytic converters. It can be really expensive, the parts can be hard to get, or they might not even exist for some cars. So mechanics are becoming something of engineers. This is the first I've seen of this one. Day after day, the same of the same. Where they cut this up front. Cars, trucks, vans. It's going to be really hard to replace just this section. All in need of new catalytic converters. It's ceramic based. It's no surprise mechanics like Craig Sickman have little time for a vacation these days, let alone a lunch break. Business at his Portland shop has quadrupled over the last couple of years. Many of his customers are victims of these quick hit jobs where thieves cut off catalytic converters to sell for some quick and lucrative cash. So many of the people um, are students, um, single parents, so it's, yeah, it's, it's getting old. According to a report released this spring by State Farm Insurance, Oregon ranks sixth in the nation for auto parts thefts. Across the nation, State Farm claims for catalytic converter thefts have increased by a whopping 1,200%. In Portland, the crime is rampant with few repercussions and no easy way to track the data. And when you widen the scope to include other types of theft as well, the news is grim for the Rose City. Statistics compiled last year by the Multnomah County District Attorney's Office show the Portland Police Bureau in 2021 only referred about 5% of its theft cases over to prosecution. And the district attorney pursued an average of fewer than half of them meaning only about two and a half percent of reported thefts ever make it through the judicial system. It leaves victims overwhelmingly without justice, plus hefty repair bills. When people generally come in, they want answers how this can be helped. Siegman says a new catalytic converter can range from a few hundred bucks to around a thousand. Many of his customers never want to hear that rattle again. But manufacturer protection plates can also be quite expensive. Or maybe they don't make them for your car. It's forcing mechanics to get creative. We came up with a cable idea and we weld the cable to the frame. And then we also weld it to the converter. So the idea is to make it harder to get off. Um, we weld directly to the converter. So they have to, in order to eliminate the cable, they're gonna have to cut into the converter to get it. Sickman says he's retrofitted the cables in about 600 cars. He charges about 150 bucks per catalytic converter. And so far, so good. Putting these loops in, make it so it just vibrates. Sawzalls will not cut it. Uh, this is some pretty high strength cable extremely hard to cut as well. Is it foolproof? Sigmund says where there's a will, there's a way, but it's a deterrent designed to encourage a would be thief to move on to an easier job. And what about painting your converter bright orange? We've heard about that. Well, the mechanic that we spoke with says don't waste the seven bucks on that paint. He says the black market for these parts does not care if the catalytic converters are stolen. They will still buy them. Reporting live in studio, Kendra Kent, Fox 12 again.